Hi, this is Kevin Graham at KG now here at Spar 3D and AEC Next. Amazing technology. Demetrius Volkus with Penn State University Wilkes Barre campus. Demetrius, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Very exciting. Now, you're going to be speaking later to this group. Tell us about your topic and what you're going to be speaking on. Uh, the topic is about an experiment that we did with uh, one of my students and is about uh, how uh, target reflectivity can affect uh, uh, the noise uh, that we get from our laser scanners. Uh, based on uh, the different properties of the target, it can affect the noise levels and that's important for uh, uh, several applications, uh, but we are trying to tie it with uh, deformation uh, monitoring. So uh, let's say that you are scanning a black target, a brown target, uh, a surface, sorry, uh, brown, yellow, green, uh, how, what's the noise that you're going to get and how that uh, is going to affect you in terms of detecting uh, the deformation that you see in a structure. Very interesting. Now, tell me about, as assistant professor, survey engineering, what's your, what's your, uh, in, uh, your domain? Yeah, uh, uh, we, uh, I'm an assistant professor of surveying engineering, uh, and uh, my main interest is in uh, uh, how uh, our instruments uh, are uh, uh, working in terms of uh, accuracy and how this can affect uh, uh, quantitative analysis uh, in uh, applications of uh, monitoring. Because monitoring, uh, are, I, guess, I think, one of the most challenging uh, uh, scenarios that you can have where we are looking at the uh, changes at the millimeter level. And uh, that's where we really, we really test uh, the capabilities of uh, laser scanners, uh, how they can detect millimeter or even sub-millimeter level of uh, movement. Interesting stuff. Now, let me ask you this. If I'm a high schooler somewhere in the world and I'm STEM or engineering or I'm a math bus, what kind of student is best attracted to your campus, to your school? Uh, who's really going to thrive or who's a good fit for your institution in Wilkes-Barre? I think uh, uh, surveying is uh, one of the unique disciplines that they can uh, uh, satisfy the needs of every person. Uh, if you like to be outdoors, uh, you can definitely do that. If you like to be indoors, you can work with software or uh, uh, be more on the computer science part of surveying. That's also something that uh, uh, someone can do. Uh, so we have a very uh, diverse um, we have a diverse, uh, diverse students, diversity in our students because uh, they can be, they, we have students that they like to be outdoors and just to work with uh, total stations or traditional surveying. We have students that they, they like to uh, learn more about the science uh, behind surveying and, and geodesy in general. And uh, we have students that they, uh, even they were trying to do their uh, masters in uh, glaciology in other schools or in, in uh, GPS technology in Canada. So we have several students that they even go down this path. So I think it's just surveying, it's just for, uh, for everybody. And uh, uh, there is no limit. I mean, the limit is basically your, uh, it's, it's a, in your mind. Uh, whatever you set uh, as the goal, you can achieve it in surveying. Well said. And I can tell your session's going to be educational, you're certainly insightful, and you're also inspiring. So check out Penn State University, Wilkes-Barre campus. Demetrius Bolkus, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. This is Kevin Graham at KG Now.